Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 1st, 2022, brand new month. Now, the question is, can the bulls continue this bullish energy pushing through on these earnings reports? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. First thing I want to do is I want to kind of point out that we are running into some very significant price resistance levels in the chart. Now, we have been incredibly bullish. Um, you know, we've had rising interest rates, we have had a negative GDP, we have had a PCE inflator number on Friday, which is the Fed's favorite uh, gauge for inflation, and it went up, and we just continued to ignore and buy, buy, buy right into the weekend. So can we continue that energy pushing us right up through this resistance? Well, we'll have to watch, wait and see. You'll also wanna keep in mind, we're approaching a pretty significant downtrending level here as well in the charts. Now, if we were to um, rest or pull back, you'll wanna be watching some of these support levels in the chart. Maybe something right through here would be um, a pretty strong support we have a little bit less support as you can see right through here so keep an eye on that and then if I kind of use this area right here as an outlier and run a trend up here as you can see we have kind of extended away from this trend and either a little consolidation or a pullback is certainly warranted in the market as we push these resistance levels in the chart now I can't say we're going to get that just that you know we might want to be watching for that possibility if we take a look at the SPY SPY also very similar situation fairly significant price resistance coming up here in the chart and if we look at this longer term downtrend well doggone it we still have some downtrend in here we're going to have to be thinking about and it all depends on how you want to draw that but we're approaching that fairly quickly so we we'll want to keep a, an eye on that in the chart now if those bears were to come in and play again we've got a little tiny bit of price support right through here that could stop us from moving lower and a more significant level maybe down through here um, in that chart and once again if i use this little area right here and and draw that as a outlier as you can see any rest or pullback in here that holds that trend would remain bullish and perhaps we are due for a little bit of rest consolidation in the chart or even a pullback so watch carefully for that possibility as we continue to try and keep this rally going or QQQ. QQQ had the biggest response last week and despite the fact that our earnings reports really weren't all that stellar, we, we lowered our earnings expectations and um, the big techs um, beat those on, well, honestly, some fairly shaky numbers, but we just wanted to buy something. And so we pressed and pressed and pressed and pushed right up here into this downtrend. And we'll wanna keep an eye um, right through here, we have this price resistance in the chart uh, coming into play as well that we'll want to be thinking about um, here this week as we press and see whether or not we can push on through. Now, if we take a look in here on our trend, once again, if I kind of leave this little bump right here out, you can see that we have a little bit of price support that we can find right in here. If we can hold on to that surprise price support, then we could consolidate this move right out here and rest toward that trend. Or we have that possibility that we could pull back and we have a little bit more price support right through here. So a little bit of rest or pullback might be possible as well. So keep a close eye on that as we try to decide 
whether or not we can bang or bang through that um, significant resistance in the chart. If we take a look at our um, IWM, now our IWM also very, very bullish. And once again, we're running into some resistance levels. Now, these aren't quite as strong a resistance levels as we saw in the other three indexes, but we'll wanna keep an eye on that. We certainly um, have a downtrend here that we're right right up against that downtrend so we'll want to watch that pretty close in case we do find a little bit of bearish energy up here willing to resist we'll see and then we also want to keep in mind that this trend is holding up nicely in place we've got some price support right across here if we were to rest consolidate or pull back and hold that area no harm no foul at all if we were to break down through this level, that might be a little bit more pressure to the market. So keep a close eye on that. Now, of course, we on every one of these indexes, we have that possibility that we can pop through that resistance and try and hold. So I'm not trying to suggest that um, we've extended so much that we have to pull back, only that that extension is fairly extreme at this moment. And it wouldn't be out of the question to see a little bit of profit taking, a little bit of consolidation. Um, in the market. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX did a really great job on Friday. I mean, kind of an interesting thing how we can choose to ignore bad news um, in the market and just keep pressing, but that's what we've done. And I'm really beginning to wonder if maybe we've got a little bit of complacency now starting to build into the market, just simply because we've gotten a little bit maybe overexcited about these earnings, even though they're, they're less than what the company produced last year, but we're pushing the stocks right back up. Kind of an interesting situation going on here in the market. I know everyone was just tired of the bearish market. They wanted the market to go back up but we do have to be careful with a little bit of over speculation because we tend to do that. We kind of tend to push things too far in either direction. So watch that close. Now we've broken down through this resistance level in the chart. And I got to say that we've got to give that up to the bulls, absolutely up to the bulls. And um, we have this nice downtrend here in the chart. If we were to bounce back up, that would be the problem in here. We might run into some resistance right in here won't be an issue for the market unless we can break through and hold up here um, certainly possible but right now not showing any clues of that and then of course we have more price support levels in this chart if I were to um, go to um, this chart here where I've marked out all of these levels you can see right in here around that 20 handle we have some price support so we'll want to be watching that for that potential if those bears find a reason to defend so keep an eye on that and if we take a look at our t21 22. Now you guys know t21 22 is a very important indicator for me and although um we are extremely extended. Remember, we can stay extended up here for a while, and we've seen that in the past where we can just hang out here and hang out here for a little while up here, but there's never been a time in T21-22 when it didn't eventually push back to the downside. So you want to be watching that. We're up there in that area. I'm not saying we can't go higher. I'm just saying we want to start watching for those potential places here where those bears could fight back a little bit. And I also want to remind everyone that just because we might get a pullback in T21-22, it does not say that we have to collapse. As a matter of fact, we can have an extended consolidation and have this T2122 come right back down into here. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. Even if we consolidate, we could push back. And I want to just point out that we really don't have a whole lot of upside room unless we can get a little bit of relief in that buying pressure here, maybe a little profit taking, a little pullback. So watch that close. And if we take a look at our T2107, our T2107 did a great job on Friday pushing up. Finally, it's been struggling to get going here. But as you can see, pushing into some price resistance, still have that downtrend right there where we have seen it fail before. So we do want to keep 
keep an eye on that possibility that bears could re-engage somewhere in these areas. So watch that closely. And our T2108, well, maybe just a little bit overextended in the short term. They pressed this right into the close on Friday. That's breaking that um, downtrend right here in the chart, but you do want to notice that we might be getting just a little bit over exuberant here in the market as we push up. We've got a fairly significant level of price resistance along this area. Doesn't mean we can't push on higher, but we may have just kind of gotten a little bit carried away um, in the on the buy side here, uh, just wanting to press that into the weekend. So watch that close. 70% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. That's amazing how we went from all the way down here to all the way up here in such a short period of time. So watch carefully in case there's a little bit of sell effort that comes in. And then if we take a look at our T2101, well, our T2101, it's been bouncing around here quite a little bit. Um, maybe not giving us the best of information. Um, we have had volume pick up the last two or three trading days, but overall we've had some pretty low volume, but we will want to keep an eye on this. We might be getting, um, you know, up here into those resistance areas and the chart we might be thinking that there is a potential of that little bit of pullback that could occur or a consolidation in the market. So watch that. If we take a look at our um, um, volume levels here in the chart, I, I still want to continue to point out these volume levels. Um, they did perk up here um, on Friday with that surge, particularly right at the end of the day. Um, if, as a matter of fact, if I go to a, a short term chart, look at the surge right here at the end of the day on the trading. It just spiked hard. Uh, there was tremendous energy there. But as you can see, um, we, we still are suffering a little bit of uh, anemic volume in here. And that'll be interesting to see um, whether or not that picks up um, in here soon or not. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar not as heavy this week, which is nice, but we do have a few things that we'll want to be paying attention to on this calendar. As you can see, we're going to start off this week with ISM manufacturing, uh, PMI manufacturing, and construction spending. So keep an eye on those three items later on this morning. They could move us around here just a little bit. And then we do have some short-term bond auctions that we'll want to be paying attention to. And it is interesting that the 12 month bond is inverted over the 10 year. Um, so we'll want to keep an eye on these as these bonds continue to point toward that recession that the GDP number suggests that we're in. Um, despite the fact that the administration and every talking head out there is now echoing out that two quarters of GDP does not mean recession. Uh, two negative quarters of GDP. So kind of an interesting uh, dynamic going on in the market as we're trying to change the narrative about what's actually happening in, a, happening in our economy. Then we'll want to watch in here. We've got a pretty big week thinking about jobs. We're going to have the job openings report here on Tuesday. Again, we're going to have some factory orders, ISM, petroleum, like we normally do on Wednesday. Then we've got our um, international trading. One thing we're not going to have this week, it doesn't look like we're going to get ADP. ADP is now doing a recalc on how they calculate ADP. And so um, we didn't get it last time and uh, last month, and it looks like we're not going to get it this month as well. So keep an eye on that. We do have that challenger job, cut report, jobless claims, and um, you know, a few other things in here to make note of. And then we're going to wrap up the week here this week with that employment situation number. Just keep in mind, that's one of those big numbers that can truly move the market substantially if it happens to be bullish or bearish. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar this week. Now, our earnings calendar is going to be busy this week. Um, 
we we start off a little bit light here on Monday not a whole lot going on uh, with you know major notables to move us around but as we ramp up through the week by Thursday we have over 300 companies reporting so it's going to be a busy week of earnings results keep an eye on those as they continue to come out because certainly they have been moving the market substantially um, notables for this morning if you guys want to catch the full list of notables make sure you click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list now if we take a look at these charts we have um, um, Aflac uh, that will be reporting today keep an eye on Aflac um, we've got Activision reporting in here and you can see looks like they're trying to gap a little higher here this morning on their report we've got car car is moving bullishly here this morning so keep an eye on car we have fang some oil in here a little pop and drop so far on that we'll want to keep an eye on that we've got jacobs engineering we've got a mosaic um, reporting whoops mos mosaic reporting and we're going to hear from pins and we're going to hear from world wrestling so kind of keep an eye on those reports and again if you want to catch the full list make sure you click the link below the title of the video let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that quick favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment now i know i ask this every day and and i know it gets kind of monotonous having to um leave a brief comment but remember you can leave just an emoji and that counts as well it's the engagement with the video that helps the channel to grow and i just want to th say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to support the effort that it takes to put these videos out every every day so thank you everyone i truly truly appreciate it let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up and please keep in mind guys that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security um you're going to have to do your own due diligence and just realizing that the volatility of these markets are pretty high and um, the way prices are moving around um, we could have well some big hops some big drops um, in the market in uh, in a flash so make sure you're being very very careful about how you trade um, these markets as you guys know um, I've mentioned Etsy over and over and over in fact my original um, um, talk on Etsy was right over in here and you can see this has continued to perform very well very well and one of the things I like about a chart right like this is it's already past its earning date so we've got through earnings it didn't have any negative effects on the chart so now you start watching for those next entry signals in here now certainly we have some resistance in this chart that we will want to be paying attention to right up in here but a little bit of rest a little bit of consolidation in this chart would definitely set up an next opportunity if we could hold some support maybe rest consolidate and then look for that stretch to move on up in those charts and we've seen a lot of these um, doing the very same thing now another place you might want to look um, it's going to be interesting to see how this performs this week and that's in these energy stocks now energy as I push back up notice we're pressing into that 50-day moving average here on the XLE ETF and if this would be the place that you'd want to start watching for that potential that this could fail if it doesn't fail we've seen these earnings coming in very very strong and we've seen um, prices uh, going back up pretty strongly here in energy so you'll want to watch those closely if we push through some of these levels and hold those higher lows there may be some more upside here in these charts and one of the reasons i say that is we've been seeing um, a weakening here in uh, uup now i think this candle here there's something wrong with the data here this morning but watch that watch that closely um here in the chart because once 
once energy or the dollar pulls back, what we're seeing is those energy prices surging back up. And that's pretty common in commodities. Anytime the dollar rallies, if you think about it, if the dollar itself moves up, well, it takes fewer of those dollars to buy commodities of any kind. And so you typically see those commodities move lower. Now, the same thing is true when the dollar moves lower, then we start looking for those commodity prices to move back up. And that continues to put pressure on our inflation situation here. So we'll wanna watch that carefully, depending on how the US dollar continues to respond. We could see those energy prices continuing to surge. And um, um, I'm still holding um, um, a long-term um, position in um, natural gas. And um, you can see here, UNG um, has just surged all the way back up. And of course, we know of that natural gas issue that they're having over there in Europe. So we'll want to watch that carefully um, here. Um, if this holds this higher low, as you can see, we pushed right back through that 50. If this holds a higher low, then we look for that next opportunity here in um, UNG if those energy prices continue to surge and if we see that US dollar um, starting to pull back. So you'll wanna watch that carefully. Other stocks out there, guys, there's, there's so many of them, there's just, there's just no way to cover everything out here in the market. There's so many things moving around. Take a look at UPS. UPS moving up. This is something that I've been talking about for some time. And boy, has it struggled to get going. But as you can see, UPS now passed its earnings, surging through resistance. Any rest or pullback sets up an opportunity. So there's a lot of stocks like that out there. Now, because I'm running short on time today, spend a little bit too much time in explanation, I apologize. But I want to wish everyone a fantastic day in your uh, trading. Um, be very, very safe. Be careful out there. Could be a lot of volatility this week due to all the earnings and economic data coming our way. So make sure you trade wisely. And I will see you right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day.